Well, I'd like you to close your eyes for a moment. Don't look at the board. Imagine, close your eyes, and imagine a game. Imagine a game that was so interesting to you that you were prepared to buy it even if it was... Uh, you know, it's from the 80s and you knew it was going to be an older game and you knew it was going to have some interesting, you know, little, uh, oh, I don't know, idiosyncrasies with the game. But you, you found this copy and it was, you know, a fair price and uh, you knew that the maps were covered in this, you know, plastic sticky crap and that they were not going to lay flat and that's okay and you knew that. And close your eyes and imagine that. Imagine that and you're excited and you get the game and you open it all up and you look at it. You don't really pay too much attention to the counters because the counters are actually in a tray and they're blue tacked down. The lid's blue tacked down, sticky down. And, and so you don't want to pop the lid and have everything go everywhere. So you just kind of look at the counters from through the plastic and of the lid and put it away for a year or so. And then you get it out and set it up and you start getting the counters out and you go, oh, this is interesting. The counters are uh, the counters are all they're all covered with the the plastic stuff that's that's really interesting I mean that's wow that's really cool that's different um, but this will be okay because when you play it'll be fine because the counter the counters the counters we the counter the counters will stick to your fingers so you'll pick these counters up and they'll stick together or they'll stick to each other and you can't clip them because if you clip them uh, you, you expose the uh, sticky residue of what's left, uh, and then that's sticky on the corner. Because <laughs> you know, guess you know, you know how I know that because I freaking tried it. That would be fine. That would be fine. I could deal with it. I could. I can deal with that because I really want to play this game and I'm really kind of excited about the system and I'm kind of excited about the way combat works and I'm excited about the way that the way the guy wrote camps wrote about this. It was a doom and gloom for the Soviets, uh, for the NATO forces and nothing was going to happen yet. The actual game system is very balanced and although the uh, NATO forces can't actually really ever attack, they most certainly will Put a hole in a division in a, a Soviet division in a hurry because of their defense factors. But here's the here's the interesting thing: the combination of one of the rules, which requires you to uh, take these counters, these friction points, and at the end of each turn, uh, you flip them over and reduce them by one. Well, it's one. You know, these are a little tricky to pick up, but that's okay, right? Uh, just because they're slippery, because they're protected in a condom of stickiness. For counter condom is what this is. And they, they, they're they hard to flip over, but that's okay. No, I, I, I'm good with that. But what I have to do, because the rules, these friction points, those little friction points, every counter, every, every counter on this board, I have to either flip a counter underneath it, uh, down one, or if it has nothing underneath it and it's flipped over because it's moved this turn, I, I, I flip it over to its face up side. It's non-FP side for both sides, for all those counters that stick to my fingers and aggravate me and make me, I don't know, make me want to tip my enormously heavy 400 pound desk over on its side and scream at this condom, latex, prophylactic encased game. If I ever meet the person who did this to this game, you, I'm just going to slap you in the face and say that you, not only are you a moron, God, it's taking me nearly twice as long to play a turn because of the way the counters stick to my hand. But that's okay. Because I'm digging the system, I will have an update for you on turn two. Once I've recovered from my little venti venti video, it's kind of a, it's kind of like a Starbucks video. It's a venti video. All right.